welcome to an English online lesson. Our topic is the animal world. We will begin our lesson with a pronunciation guide rubric. Uh, pay attention to the letter combination O-R that is pronounced R. Repeat please. World, word, work, worker. Then we have another letter combination E-A-R or I and R is again pronounced er, earth, heard, early, and word. Let's go on. And our next stage is vocabulary. Vocabulary, so these are the words that you will need them while reading and understanding the text. And we have words connected to nature, to animals. The first one is bison. I will not give the explanation, just a picture. This is a bison. Deer and fawn. And you have the picture of a fawn. The next three animals. We have a squirrel. I hope you know what a squirrel is. Hedgehog. A hedgehog. Alright. And these words are connected somehow to animals. So we have fur. Again, picture. Pay attention to the picture. You will understand what fur is. Wool. Curds. And butter. Butter is not a new word for you, but still you will need it while reading the text. Now I have a challenge for you. Yes, the riddle. It's a baby animal. It's not small. It has long legs and very kind eyes. It has brown fur in summer that turns gray in winter. It eats leaves and young branches. It lives in the forest. What is it? You are right. It's a fawn. Another riddle for you today is it's a small animal, it has a long thick tail, its fur is red and gray, it lives in trees, it likes nuts. What is it? Yes, you are right, it's a squirrel. A very interesting exercise just for you to check if you remember the names of the animals. Have a look, you have on the left of the screen, you have some pictures of animals that you know and recognize them, and on the, on the right you have definitions of, uh, of them. So, for example, the first one is bison. What is a bison? Yes, it's a very big animal uh, of the cow family. It is the animal symbol of Moldova. How can we define the horse? It lives on the farm and it is a strong and kind animal. People love riding it. Then, the fox. It is a wild animal with a long, thick tail that likes hunting chickens. What about the bear? It is a large wild animal with brown fur. And the last one, it is a wild animal that looks like a dog and hunts in groups. Yes, it's wolf. Let's read the dialogue and then you will see what Mike has learned about the European bison. Tina, are there any forests in Moldova? Yes, the natural reservation Padurea Domnească is my favorite. It's a beautiful place full of big and very old trees. What else do you have there? The most interesting is the European bison. I have read about it. It's a large wild animal of the cow family. It is strong and very fast. There are two types of bison, the North American and the European. The European bison is the biggest animal in Europe. It can be between 600 kilograms and 1200 kilograms. It is really big. What does it eat? It is a grass-eating animal. All European bison live only in reservations. Are there many European bison in the reservation Padurea Domnească? There were many of them three centuries ago. 
Then they disappeared. Now they are only seven bison in the reservation. You should protect them. Alright, so this is the text. I hope you enjoyed it. Now we have, based on the text, I'd like you to pay attention to the fact that uh, some words have a uh, different plural and these words are sheep. So we have the same form for singular and plural. A sheep, many sheep. We don't have S at the end. The same situation we have with the noun dia, the plural, again dia. Bison, plural bison, so remember no S at the end. Then we have fox. Foxes, and this is another rule, when the word ends in X, we have to add ES. And the last one is wolf, uh, the plural is wolves, just because the, the word ends in F, the F um, passes in V and we add ES. Please remember these words and write them in your copybooks. Let's correct the mistakes in the following sentences. What you have to do is to find mistakes that are connected to the words that I have just shown to you on the screen. So, there are few wolves and foxes in the forest in Moldova. Do you see the words that are uh, misspelled? This is the word wolves and foxes. The second one, how many sheep and cows do you have in, on your farm? We have only one word that is not correct. And this is the word sheep, because we don't have S at the end of the word when it is in plural form. The old man saw some deer in the forest. What is the word that is not correct? Yes, you are right. This is the word deer. We have only the form deer for plural. Then there are only seven European bisons in Podoria Domnyaska. Of course, you have noticed the word that is not correct, and this is the word bisons. No S at the end when this word is in plural form. We have only bison. Please remember these words. We have she, dia, bison that have no S at the end when we have them in plural form. Let's go on. This is quite a, a difficult uh, exercise. You have some sentences and the task is to write the questions to the answers, uh, to the answers on the screen. So, all the European bison live in reservation. The question is, where do all European bison live? Eat its grass. The question is, what does it eat? You have to notice the fact that before the subject we have the verb do or does. So, these are the verbs that help us make up questions. The, the third one, there are only seven European bison in Moldova, and we can make up the sentence, the, the question like, how many bison are there in Moldova? It is big and strong. The question, what is big and strong? And the last one, we should protect the bison because they are very few. The question is, why? Why should we protect that bison, right? But uh, uh, we, we just come to the end of the lesson, and during this lesson we pronounced um, some English sounds, we practiced them, we learned new words, we read a text about families, corrected some mistakes in a small uh, text, and we made out some questions. I hope you liked the lesson. See you next time. Good luck!